So let's start with responsiveness. And I'm going to go now into uh, mail. And so here we have a mailbox with a, about 100,000 messages in your, your inbox. And I just want to show you how, uh, how you scroll now with that accelerated scrolling. Perfectly smooth, incredibly fast, almost 60 frames a second whenever you do it. It's just epic. And when you look here at scrolling through a conversation, this is a conversation with 26 messages in it. Again, just super glassy smooth, super fast. It's really, really nice. Let's take a look at that in Safari. In Safari, we've improved scrolling for more popular websites and actually optimized heavily for retina displays. So now it's just super fast, super smooth. Now let's take a look at power. Yeah, there's a fan of smooth scrolling right there in the front. I'm a fan of smooth scrolling as well. So let's take a look at power usage. I have a power meter up here that's showing CPU activity in Safari. And you notice right now it's quite low because we're not doing anything. But let's go into a, a website that's uh, going to use a lot of power. And you notice the power meter shoot right up because we're doing a lot of animation here using a lot of CPU. And that's OK. That's what the CPU is for. It's doing something cool for me right here. But very often you'll have something like this happening in an ad off in the corner. You've covered this window up, and yet it's still draining your battery life. You don't even realize it. Well, now with this technology we call AppNap, we keep track of what's going on and what things you actually see to decide where to direct power. So watch what happens when I bring up this uh, iTunes window over the Safari window. Power drops right down. That's extending your battery life. But of course, that thing is still running. It's still available to me. So if I pull it aside, there it goes. You can see everything happening right now. The power goes up, cover it back up, power goes right back down. It's really going to help your battery life. Next, let's take a look at the new Safari top sites. Really clean, really nice. We'll bring out the new sidebar. You see I have all my bookmarks here. I have my bookmark folders as well. If I want to bring a uh, site over from my bookmarks into top sites, I can just drag it out like this. It's really nice. I can open it up. Animates in. From the sidebar, we also have access uh, to our shared links. So you see sites that I'm following here on uh, Twitter and LinkedIn. I can click on a, site, a link that's been shared. Uh, loads it up. I can even uh, retweet it uh, right here if I, if I wish. And we now have one-click bookmarking. So I'll just click this plus and it's going to hop right in to my reading list right there. Let's go take a look at my reading list. See all the, uh, the articles I've added here to my reading list. I want you to watch how scrolling works because now when I scroll and I'm reading through one article, I read this, this is great, really enjoying it, get to the bottom, there's the next article. I can just scroll right through to the next article just like that. Awesome. We also have a beautiful new look for Reader. Here's Reader. And I'm going to bring up uh, my, uh, I can actually close up my, my sidebar here. And now as I scroll reading, and I just want to read from one article to the next, it's just like that. Super clean and super nice. And that's Safari in Mavericks. I think you're going to like it. <laughs> 